My friends, we are all interested in the future, for after all, that is where we're going to spend the rest of our lives. We are all interested in the unknown. That is why you are here. The places, the events, we cannot keep this a secret any longer, my friends. Can your heart stand the shocking facts about Plan 9 from out to space? Ah yes, Plan 9. By stimulating the pituitary and pineal glands of the recently dead, aliens plan to force the government of the world to listen to them about the dangers of the solenite bomb. A bomb so powerful it could ignite the sun itself, causing a chain reaction that will destroy the entire universe. I love this movie, I really do. Not because it's bad, and it is bad, but because in a lot of ways it's kind of good. I realize a lot of you have never seen it before. If you have, it's just been a little snippets. So I'm hoping to get you geared up for its big theatrical release next month. And yes, I'm serious, it is coming out next month. A little bit more on that later. But first, let's take a look at some of the worst parts. Ed Wood was famous for only using one take. No matter how bad it was, he would use it and move on to the next scene. He was also a prolific user of stock footage and a creative editor. Never one to let continuity stop him from putting together his masterpiece. He would put two shots together no matter how mismatched. The most famous of these types of mistakes is when he switched from day to night no less than seven times in a single scene. As for sets and props, let's just say you can see the strings. The film claimed to star Bela Lugosi of Dracula fame, but the actor died before filming began and a stand-in was used. To hide the fact that the new actor was too thin, too tall, and too young, he had to keep his face covered at all times. And it shows. It combines to make the perfect storm of bad movies. Bad editing, bad effects, bad plot, just bad. So after all of that, what is it that I like about this movie? Well, with all things, there's a perfect version of it. A perfect chair, a perfect horse. This is the perfect bad movie. Being consistent is key to any story, and this film is consistently bad. The dialogue and sets are all delivered in a serious yet lacking way that gives cohesion to the entire project. To put it another way, there are movies you may consider better than Plan 9 from Outer Space, but still fail to cancel your suspension of disbelief. No matter what other faults this film has, it stays true to itself and creates a world you can actually lose yourself in. If you really follow it, you'll find that every character is a watered down or incompetent version of what they should be. If this were done on purpose, it would be a great metaphor. But done by accident on both sides of the camera is almost philosophical in its brilliance. Actor Dudley Manlove sums it up best. Because all you of Earth are idiots. You just hold on, Buster. No, you hold on. You see? You see? Your stupid minds. Stupid. Stupid. That's all I'm taking from you. Get back here, you jerk! Yes. Let him finish. You heard me correctly, by the way. That actor's name is Dudley Manlove. That's just icing on the awesome cake. This film single-handedly created the genre of bad 50s sci-fi. It defined movie-making techniques still mimicked with love today. Ed Wood may have had his faults, but by God he achieved his dream and told stories in a real Hollywood picture. It's something I have yet to do, and he was younger than me at the time. I consider him a personal hero for that alone. I'm not alone in thinking so either. A few years back, the movie was remastered and colorized by Legend Films. This special edition DVD contained commentary by former Mystery Science Theater star Mike Nelson. This was the prototype that became Rift Tracks, the unofficial rebirth of Mystery Science Theater. It didn't take long for other MST3K alum to sign up, and now not only is Plan 9 commentary available in theaters, it's being simulcast to a theater near you. Hosted by Veronica Belmont with music by Jonathan Colton, it's going to be released August 20th, 2009. If you have not seen this movie, or if you're a fan of Mr. Science Theater, you really owe it to yourself to go. Tickets are $12.50, and 
If you're like me, you're going to be short on cash, but I think I have a solution. Lucidity, beam me down. Believe it or not, I actually earned the $12.50 I need to see the movie. I wasn't exaggerating about money being tight though, so if you wanted to help the cause, you could go to wackerreviews.com slash plan9. There you can see my donate page, this review video, and a special video game that I made based on the movie. I'm not saying that you have to help me, but it sure would be a shame if my large electric gun went off and... No. No! 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 Oh, oh, oh God, no!